Would you like to know what heroes Jeff plays? I bet you do, ladies and gentlemen. Also, would you like to know about Roadhog? I bet you would, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's get stuck into this. So, Jeff has been active on the forums. Praise the Lord. Praise Jeff. Like, the last developer update, I'm pretty sure there was like a two or three month gap from the previous dev update. I hate it when there's no dev communication. Guys, make more dev updates. Post on the forums more. We want to talk to you guys or at least see what you guys are, you know, talking about. Anyway... There was a post on the forums, and it basically said, I feel like the devs hate tank players. Um, and it was just a guy, and he was like, yeah, Goaty McGoat. Um, apparently, he's got 4,750 posts on the forums. So, a true Blizzard forum warrior. And, um, yeah, so he says, I feel like the devs hate tank players. And then he opens up his, uh, his post with a like a, a non-capitalized letter. <laughs> so, you know where this is going. But this is what he says. I won't put this on the screen, because you guys don't want to see this. But he says, I know some tanks are getting buffs, but they make so many changes. That makes tanking a lot less fun. It wasn't too much fun to start with. Sticky out tongue face. Torb is just another character who can melt any tank within seconds. Either way, hanging up my tanking hat after spending 90% of my game time on tanks. So, a bit of a crap post. Anyway, Jeff saw this post and decided to reply. And this is what Jeff said. And again, I'm not going to put this on the screen because whatever, you want to see gameplay. Basically, he says, I understand you're having some frustration with something, uh, but saying we hate tanks is a bit hyperbolic. Uh, we love this game and pour everything we have into it. For example, these are my top tank heroes played with ours listed. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now we know that Jeff is a Reinhardt main. We know this for a long time. Jeff plays tanks. Um... This is what he does, but we've never actually seen the hours that he plays uh, on the heroes before. Look at this. He is a tank player. He 100% is a main tank player, and then he plays the off tank. So look at Reinhardt. 122 hours of Reinhardt. Good lord. Um, so you can rest assured that I'm I'm probably sure the dev team know everything about all the bugs with Reinhardt. I mean they know anyway, but with Jeff playing Reinhardt as well. Hey, uh, Winston as well. Second most played. 75 hours. Zarya on 52 hours. Diva on 33 hours. And then Big Bad Daddy Roadhog on 24 hours. Well, Jeff then actually went on to say, just to round off the post, we play and love all of the roles and all of the heroes. Obviously, he's not going to come out and go, uh, I absolutely hate uh, Brigitte or Soldier. They're so bad. We should delete them from the game. He's not going to say that. He's a legend. But whatever. So, a bit of a PR line there. But then he says, a more helpful discussion would focus on what you like and don't like about playing different heroes or roles and less about making assumptions about the people who make the game and are here. We're here as your allies and they're going to make Overwatch better. You see, this is the thing, right? It's very easy to just come out and attack the developers. But remember, like, the devs make this game. They live this game. They know everything that's wrong with this game. Sometimes there might be situations where they can't they can't answer questions publicly or or give answers to stuff because things may change down the line or there might be situations where um, they've got updates rolling out so they know these things will be fixed but they can't talk about them because it might you know leak some other information so there's a lot of stuff going on it isn't so cut and dry I i'm 100 percent sure right now that the overwatch devs would love it to just come out and say you know and answer questions directly but the thing is you can't do that because we don't know what's going on. Well, they can't do that because it's like the bigger picture, right? They're, they're always looking forward for the way this game's being developed. It's not just like, it's not as simple as just, hey, my hero's broke, fix the hero. So this is the next thing I want to jump onto because Jeff also said this on the forums. Now, this is in the same post. And so a guy decides to respond to Jeff and say, thanks for the input, Jeff. Are there any planned changes for any tank heroes coming down the line? Roadhog, maybe, because we all know Roadhog is in a bit of an iffy state. Um, Roadhog suffers right now through not having uh, a set role. He doesn't have, like, a thing which he does. All he's got is his hook, which, you know, he's okay. It does punish people out of position. But for a tank, he's not really a tank in the sense of the other tanks in the game. They've all got defensive abilities which protect themselves or protect other players. I guess protect other players is a better way to explain that because, of course, Roadhog can use his Take a Breather, which does heal him uh, and obviously give him damage reduction. Anyway, this is what Jeff said. Yes, Roadhog changes were intended for this round of PTR, but required animation, so they've been delayed a bit. He's not getting a rework, just some tuning and balancing. We will take a bit more time than the recent PTR changes that went up. Uh, it will take a bit more time, however. So, that's interesting, right? Because he's saying it requires animation. So whatever they've done to Roadhog, one of his abilities is probably going to change a little bit. Now, again, I'm reading in between the lines here because he's saying it's not a rework. It's just tuning and balancing. But why would tuning and balancing require animation work? Now, this could be in relation to weapon spread. 
It could be in relation to the weapon f like fire rate. It could be in relation to the way that his alternate fire detonates. It could also be something to do with the hook. Or it could even be take a breather does something totally different. That's probably what this is. So I don't think this is a new ability. It's just a, like, well, Jeff straight up says that it's tuning and balancing. So some of his abilities are going to get changed. Now, this is super interesting. What do you think could actually happen to Rodog? Go crazy in the comments below. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Stylo and this is Unit Lost. I've just got back from the Paris qualifier group stage for the World Cup, which the UK did qualify in, although we lost to France in the, well, I was going to say in the final. It wasn't the final. It was the, um, it was the big match of, of the event. France are a very good team, obviously. They did beat us 4-0, but we did actually give them a pretty good game. It was fairly close on some points, so it wasn't like they totally destroyed us. So we do have some positives going forward into BlizzCon. Uh, unfortunately, we've got to play the USA in BlizzCon, so that's going to be one hell of a game. It's going to be a hard, hard game because USA are mega strong. Also, in the Blizzard Arena, well, it's not in the Blizzard Arena, it's in the Anaheim Arena, but I think that's got a capacity of 4,000 people. Last time it was totally full, and everybody's going to be chanting, USA, USA, and, and like, it's quite contagious, and it might make me chant that, but that would be terribly bad, because I'm probably going to be like one of the only UK fans there at the front going, yes, come on, lads. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, follow me on Twitter, it's at you lost game. I'm losing my voice, as you can tell, I'm losing my chanting, and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>